So here's the thing. I am a huge fan of trackball mice. I've been using them for years, specifically the Logitech M570. Back in the day, it was what one of my teachers used to edit video, so I thought I'd try it for myself, and I've never looked back. And over the years, other creator friends of mine have stuck with regular old mice and have complained about problems with their wrist, whereas I've never had that issue thanks to the ergonomics of the trackball. And as far as accuracy goes, I have never had a complaint. I've gotten so used to the trackball that I've done really detailed work in Photoshop with it, whereas most people may have picked up a pen tablet. And it's great for video editing because you can just click and drag through the timeline instead of having to pick the mouse up and move it back and forth over and over again. All that to say, when ProtoArc came to me and asked if I wanted to check out their new EM01 trackball mouse, I was all over it. So you have a lot of features on this thing. You have an LED rim light, your scroll wheel, a forward and back button, your light switch button, your switch device button, and your DPI button. So some of the cool things about this mouse, you have an adjustable grip angle, so you can modify that to where it's comfortable for you. You have multiple device control, so you can connect this to multiple devices, which is actually pretty big for me because I might be working on a desktop and then I wanna take that mouse and move it to my laptop. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what we got. All right, there's your classic little USB dongle there. Got a little user manual. Ooh, and that's, that's hefty. The buttons feel pretty good. They're not as clicky as I typically like. Scroll wheel feels nice. So I haven't even gotten to the fun part yet. There are four light modes. There's streamer mode, which is the default, breathing mode, mixed color breathing mode, and neon mode. So the light activates when you're actively using the mouse, and you just tap the light button to change the mode. I like that one. Let's leave it with that one. All right, so you can connect this mouse to three different devices, one via the 2.4G USB adapter and two via Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and pair this thing to my laptop. Okay, so there's one, that's our USB. There's two, that's our Bluetooth. And I'm gonna press and hold this switch button until that flashes rapidly. Okay, now let's go to our Bluetooth settings. Let's go to add device, Bluetooth, ProtoArc em one That's it. All right, so I've been using this thing for a few days now, and I've used it in Photoshop. I've used it just for general office work. I've used it for video editing, and it took me a minute to get used to it because the size and just the general feel of it is a lot different than what I'm used to. But once I did get used to it, I had zero problems with it. And just to be clear, this mouse is essentially the Logitech MX Ergo, but it does have more features like the RGB light and an additional Bluetooth connection, and it's less expensive. So the Logitech MX Ergo is $79. This mouse retails for $59.99, but as of this recording, if you go to their website, you can get this for 20% off at $47.99. So the last test I'm going to do here is unfortunately I don't have three uh, computers to do this demonstration. So what I've done is I plugged the USB dongle into this machine. I've also paired it with the Bluetooth and I've paired this machine with Bluetooth. So if we switch this to one, you can see the cursor moving around. All right, let's switch it to source two. And now it's connected via Bluetooth. And now let's move over here. Let's move it to source three and see if it works. There it is. So I've got to say, I actually really like this mouse, especially from a brand that's fresh on the block. They did a really good job putting this together. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll drop a link in the description below, and hopefully you can still catch that 20% off. But before you head over there, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future gear reviews. But that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.